everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I just took care of Mr. Brown. Actually, it was a good day. I um, cleaned up all the messes that he made on that she made on the floor, and just as I get done, she poops twice more. And they were gushy ones, so I had to use the mop. I think she does that on purpose because she likes to follow the mop, and she likes to, to hop on the mop and do her little scratching. And then I said, okay, time for bed. And she does her little squat, hops up on my hands, and we put her into bed. So she's gone to bed. Well, today I want to talk about now they are taboo, things that are taboo today that were not at one time. I have a list. I have to read off the list because I've got too many to, to put in my head, and you know how I get off track. I could still get off track even with the list. But... The um, things that are not acceptable today are like smoking indoors. We don't smoke indoors anymore. In fact, you can't even smoke on um, public property. You have to go to your car there. or to a private area. They don't want you anywhere near. When I was working at the county home, we used to have a smoking room. And cigarettes were 75 cents for a pack. It's pretty cheap, huh? Uh, <laughs> spanking children. I was spanked, but I'm sure a lot of you don't spank your children today. My children were not spanked. I used to talk to them. My mother used to say, "You can talk yourself blue," and but she used to. But she was the one of a spanker. She was to spank. She came from a generation of spanking. Fat jokes. You're not allowed to tell fat jokes anymore. Mm -mm, no, no um, jokes like that. No jokes concerning nationalities. None of this stuff. And it used to be sort of fun and funny. And I used to love it when they did the Italian jokes because I'm a, I'm Sicilian. So I used to make light of it. You can't say Indian summer any longer. Now you have to say it's just an extension of fall. <sighs> The things that, and, and I still say it, so apparently you're not supposed to, but I still do. Oversharing on your social media. Well, that I knew you should not do. That is taboo. Remember when Facebook first came out, how people, everybody was putting pictures of all their kids on there and everything that they did, and they would put checking in here and checking in there and saying and showing lots of stuff that nobody had business of knowing, but they were sharing it because. They wanted to be important and popular. So, and on Facebook, people used to poke, do a lot of poking, I guess. I don't use Facebooks. I do have a Facebook account, but I never use it. They have changed it so much, I don't even know how to use it. And they said that you shouldn't tag people in pictures that don't mean anything to them. Being technologically illiterate, that's not an excuse anymore. Although I do still use it. They say because we all have iPhones, which I don't, but, but I do, do have, have an iPad. iPad. <laughs> but and, and it's still iPod. it's still not the same though. And the kids that are coming up with it, they have had it all their life, so they don't know anything different. I came up with Dawes, and you came up with Dawes, and we yeah. had a computer in the house in 1986, I think. Very few people had a, a computer at that time. They were extremely expensive. We had to pay $3,000 for this computer, whereas today that computer is, and it wasn't even in black and white, it was just a bunch of dots and a bunch of squiggles and a bunch of nothing. You had to, it was nothing. It was a green screen kind of thing. It wasn't even pretty. Whereas now you buy a computer and you can get one for $800 and it's got pictures. and it's, Actually, you can get them for three and 400 You can get them for way Some less, but I'm ones. talking a nice one, maybe a real yeah. nice one. I don't know. Cat calling, you can't do that anymore. When I was pregnant and in the garden pulling weeds, I got a whistle. Believe it or not, it was kind of a, I felt kind of good because you know what, I was pregnant. <laughs> and so, but you can't do that anymore. It's not, that's not um, allowed. It wasn't and, me, but it could have been. Wasn't, no, it wasn't you. It was some <laughs> other kid and he waved like crazy when I stood up. I thought, I waved too, but eh. He probably th thought, from the back, see, from the back I didn't look pregnant, <laughs> but from the front I did. There's also things that were taboo, but not today, like having your bra straps show. That's, that's, um, I mean, these things were taboo, but you can do it now. In other words, now we're going into that stuff. This is the stuff that you used to be able to do, but you can't anymore. 
But now these are the things that you can do that were used to be, uh-uh, don't do it. Like um, having your bra straps show. Mine showed the one day pretty darn good, which was bad. I don't like them to show, to be honest. Girls making the first move when they want to go on a date. Like you see a guy you like, girls can ask now. When I was single, you didn't ask the boy. You waited and waited and hoped and prayed that he would ask you, but you didn't ask him. Living together? Oh, that was, no, you don't do that. Oh, my goodness. If no, My mother used to say, no decent girl moves out on her own. <laughs> even I couldn't even live in my own house by myself. And I was pretty old. Having children out of wedlock, keeping your maiden name. People do that today, but they didn't then. I kept my maiden name, but I kept my married name with it. I added it. And the reason I did that is I didn't have a middle name. And I needed an initial to put in there, so I kept my maiden name. But I added my married name, too. You didn't, you couldn't ask if you were a girl, ask a girl out for a date. And if you were a boy, you couldn't ask for a boy out for a date. That was not, no, you didn't do that. You did not do that. You had to be, any, you had to be either a boy or a girl. And there were no they or them. Or, or an it. Whatever, there was, you know, I don't even think you can say that. Ooh, Probably I don't not. think so. No, 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 no. That would be bad. Okay, no <laughs> phone calls after 9 o'clock. How many of you still hold that true? I do. I don't call anybody. I look at the clock and I go, oh, it's 9 o'clock. I better not call them. Because I used to go to bed like 7.30, 8 o'clock, 8.30. I didn't want to answer a phone at 9 o'clock. And that used to be a rule. People used to go to bed a lot earlier. Now they stay up really late. But... Still, I don't call after 9 o'clock. And I don't call before 9 o'clock in the morning. I figure you should be up if it's 9 o'clock in the morning. And so mm -hmm. I will wait till at least then. Tattoos. A lot of people have tattoos today. but And before, nobody had tattoos unless you were in the military. Or a gang. Or a gang, yeah. Now, things that 100 years ago, you want to hear what ha what is taboo 100 years ago? Guess what? You can't read in bed. That was taboo. Do not read in bed a hundred years ago. Women wearing slacks. My mother never wore slacks. Now she would be she would be a hundred years old. <laughs> mm -hmm. She didn't wear slacks. She wore everything that the women wore. Everything. She wore mm -hmm. the slip, the the girdle, the stockings, the shoes, the, everything, everything. She, she, and it would, could be a swelterly hot day and she'd be dressed complete. Even when she died, we had to bring all of that to the funeral home and the funeral director was going to put it all on. Can you imagine trying to put all that stuff on? Today, it's so much easier for women. They could just put slacks on us, if we wish, or a dress. A lot of girls don't even wear slips. Mm -hmm. I wear a slip. You can see through. You know how you know you need a slip? Stand in front of a window and, and just put your legs out like this a little bit. And if you can see through it, you need a slip. So you better wear a slip. Sending their children to school. People didn't send their children to school. In fact, a lot of times they sent them to work. They didn't want them to go to school. Lack of pubic hair. People don't, did not get waxed or shaved or... Oh my goodness. I remember when I was working at the nursing home, we did a few trims. <laughs> there was some that was so long that we would trim it a little bit because just washing them up was a little bit difficult, but we never shaved it or nothing like that. Tomatoes, they're poisonous. A hundred years ago, people thought they were poisonous. They were, they were, a, you didn't eat those. You were going to die if you ate a tomato. Bikinis were never allowed. People, when they went to the beach, they were fully covered. They used to wear shirts and pants and long stuff. And women had bloomers on. Oh, gosh, they were, they were really dressed. The color purple. That's a bad color. That could make you go crazy. Yes. It was even the strong, I know, even the strongest minds. The color purple could make you go crazy. So you stayed away from purple. Gee, and our, our oldest daughter I loves know. purple. purple. She her painted color. her room purple. A daily shower. People didn't take daily showers either. And that came about in like in the 1920s, I think, or somewhere in there. But people, remember, if you ever watch the Westerns, 
they get into town and they get their one bath that they've had. Maybe the last time they had a bath was a year ago. That's a long time. That's too long. So the daily showers were not it. And coffee. How many of you drink coffee? Guess what? A hundred years ago, it was considered the devil's drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like summoning the s Satan. Here I come. Oh, dear. And I have coffee every day. Mm -hmm. I don't think I of it as bad. Yeah. People didn't live to 100. They used to die with in their 40s, 50s, maybe 60 if you were lucky. Women didn't have tattoos. And I'm making a five-figure salary plus benefits 100 years ago was unheard of. You probably could think of a few more things that I didn't mention. But I think that was everything that I had. Yep, yep, that's it. I had two pages of stuff, two pages of stuff, and I cut a lot of it out. I didn't say a lot of it, but that, those are the taboo things. Mm -hmm. So, well, that's it. Mr. Brown is to bed, and I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> go summon the devil? <laughs> no, I'm not going to summon the devil. I'm going to look for the angels, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.